Hello. Today I would like to demonstrate you how to visualize TensorFlow graphs using TensorBoard. Okay. So let's get started using this live notebook. Okay. So I'm first importing the TensorFlow and then I'm creating two functions to read the graph and display or render within the Jupyter environment. So this is cloud hosted TensorBoard. So you can visualize your graphs, images, histograms, all within your Jupyter environment without uh, going for the browser, opening in the other port or so. Okay, so this is quite simple and very interesting to do things within the environment. Okay, so this these two functions will be used. Okay, the main function is show graph. This will take the graph definition and it renders as a HTML iframe. Okay, so this is an example from TensorBoard graph visualization. You can see that your deep model as a graph the graph is then takes inputs and computes operations on it okay so that's a simple definition then we first define a simple graph first example okay so create a graph G and make it as a default graph then so here I'm creating a placeholder for input x and then I'm creating this activation function using this matrix multiplication and relu activation so this is this is very simple uh, so neural network okay you can see it has a two layer neural network I am building so this is first activation function and this is second activation function and this is uh, my prediction okay so all this in order to see the graph you need to write the summary into some folder logs for example the graph okay so I'm using the object function file writer on the graph and writing into logs okay so that's what we are doing here once you're done with that step so our defined function show graph will take the graph definition G okay and then it displays the graph here okay now we can see the graph but this is a bit clumsy because we are not using the name scopes for the operations okay so we just define uh, simple variables and uh, mathematical operations we did just like that okay so we have a special format if we want to see um, in a particular format like layers by layer by layers okay now if you see the X is taken and the W1 is multiplied and added to this B1 and the ReLU is applied and goes to the next level right so that is what we did so this is activation function XW is multiplied added to the B1 the ReLU is applied so this will goes to the next layer as input and then W2 multiplication addition relu activation so on and so forth so this is what we are doing here okay so if you want to see this in a structured format you can use name scopes to combine a set of operations so that you can see the this entire operation within a set okay called layer 1 okay this entire operation in the set 2 layer 2 okay and the layer 3 okay let's uh, let's go with this so again we are creating empty graph and the same function what we did with with using name scopes okay and now if is if you see the graph it look like this okay 
so we ha we can see the structure x is input is going to the layer one then the output of layer one is going to layer two layer two output goes to layer three and the result okay so what is there in the layer one you can click on the this button or double click on the layer you can see what happens x is coming from outside and matrix multiplication is happening then addition with the b1 applying the nonlinearity and the output going to ReLU layer 2 okay and that output is multiplying with w2 so this is what we did and uh, it's showing us the a clear picture of the graph what we just defined so this is how you can use this uh, the feature so this is a basic feature whatever you define a graph you can visualize it apart from this you can visualize images audio histograms cost function and accuracies with respect to time or um, number of epochs so we have a lot of options in this so this is a basic one just to visualize the tensor flow graphs okay i hope you like this video if you like it please do subscribe share with your friends thank you